Hi, I'm Mandy and I'm from Petstock, part of your family. And today we're talking about worming and flea treatment, pretty much everything that you need to um, look into, particularly coming into spring. And today I have Kylie from Nevadas to help us. Hello. Um, so Kylie, <laughs> is there anything pretty much coming into spring, the main thing that you'd look at? Yes, yeah, definitely coming into spring. Um, it's important to ensure that your dog is wormed, fully wormed um, and regularly wormed um, because I mean did you know that uh, I, there are certain internal parasites that can actually um, affect not only dogs but humans as well. Ah, I knew a little bit about it. But <laughs> so yes, yeah, for these reasons it's really important to ensure that your dog as I said is um, wormed you know, regularly um, and these particular worms that uh, can also harm our dog can harm us so the only mm. way to protect ourselves from these internal parasites and from these uh, zoonotic risks from these parasites is to worm our dogs regularly and protect our families. And so we do it once a month or? Once a month is um, seen as, as I guess the best treatment, yeah the best treatment that you can offer um, or three monthly if that fits into your regime but once a month will give you very good protection against your roundworm, hookworm, uh, whipworm and your tapeworms as well, both hydatid and flea. So it covers everything? It covers everything. You don't have to worry about anything? No. <laughs> once so a month you, and then... Yeah, so if you use products like Sentinel Spectrum or Interceptor Spectrum Tasty Chews, they will definitely cover you once a month for all of your intestinal parasites and your hydatid tapeworms. What about flea? Yes, they definitely, Sentinel Spectrum does cover you for fleas. Yeah. Um, it works a little differently to some of the other products. It actually works on the immature stages of the life cycle, so it eradicates them very effectively and, uh, and protects your environmental and your home as so you well. You don't have to worry about infestation of fleas? No, well <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're aiming to prevent, so we don't have to worry about it. Coco is nice and protected, who's being a bit shy for us today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but definitely that and also with your Sentinel and both your Interceptor it's very important to note that they do cover your dog for heartworm yeah. as well which is very important mm. because this is a, um, a parasite that's spread by mosquitoes um, and it affects all dogs um, and can, you know, it, it results in blockage not only to the heart as well as the um, lungs and vessels and can result in um, heart failure. Would you recommend if somebody hasn't had uh, their heartworm checked or heartworm treatment in a while that they get checked from the vet? Definitely, yes. If their dog has never been on prevention or um, they you know, have possibly missed their heartworm prevention, it would be a good idea, especially coming into spring and yeah. wet weather today. It would be nice if yeah, they could go and just have a check and make sure that their dog is clear and heartworm free um, prior to starting any of the um, heartworm medications. Oh, cool. And so pretty much... Sorry. <laughs> My eyes are terrible. <laughs> um, I actually, to be honest, with the infestation of fleas, I think that's the main problem with summertime. Like Definitely, if somebody yeah. sees a flea and they give the um, the treatment, do they they pretty much know that it's going to be eradicated? So yeah, definitely fleas tend to be um, a concern. Um, and the main thing I, I guess we really need to be aware of and treating for in spring because we're coming into that warmer weather when we're starting to see more fleas available um, and around and, and on our pets and so we're wanting to definitely you know, stop this because they do cause qu quite you know, yeah. itchy, horrible reactions and you know, can cause some very terrible skin conditions in, in our animals so we're wanting to make sure that, you know, that we take care of that and definitely by using long-term protection against fleas is ideal. And making sure they don't miss a month. And making sure, yes, you always have that flea protection on board. Um, there are several different medications that you can use. Um, one which I guess we are talking about today, Sentinel Spectrum, um, that is actually on board with your intestinal worms as well as your heart wound prevention. And you can pair that with another product uh, being Capstar, which is an adulticide to take care of those um, bothering fleas that have jumped the onto your dogs, those adult fleas, and then long-term prevention with your with sentinel. sentinel. And can you maybe tell us why sentinel and, and over any of the others? Uh, like well, what are the benefits? The benefits, sure, definitely. Um, well, the, the definite benefit, I guess, other than just focusing on your adult fleas, um, is actually focusing on the way the particular fleas breed. So focusing on 
their life stages and their life cycles and by eradicating the large numbers of eggs that fleas produce, which Sentinel does, therefore we are you know, eradicating the major majority part of mm. the problem. And then when you then, I, I guess, come into contact with those emerging fleas, you've taken your dog for a walk down to the park and some fleas have, you know, jumped on those hitchhiker fleas, which we like to call them, then it's very easy to take care of those mm. if they are unable to breed and infect your home environment. I like that it's a treat. It is a treat, yes. So, so it is a tasty chew and they do vary in size. Um, so for these little guys, the treat is very small. Um, it's palatable. It's 30% mm. beef flavoured. Um, and Interceptor is actually 30% in flavoured. Oh. So, yeah, so it is nice. Um, the dogs do like to eat it. And um, it does make, yes, treating a bit of a treat other than a yeah, chore, as you yeah. like to say. Yeah, I think sometimes if they've got skin problems, some of the, the uh, drip on... Cause sometimes. a bit of irritation. Yeah. Yes, sometimes in certain dogs you can cause and see a bit of irritation. Definitely, you're right. Um, and if you are washing your dog regularly or your dog does swim regularly, it's important to know that these topical products will be affected. Um, you know, by swimming regularly and by grooming regularly, their effectiveness you know, for that month's longevity will actually um, decrease. Oh, yes. cool. Okay. Thanks, Kylie. You're very welcome. Well, I'd like to pretty much tell everybody where we are. So we're in South Melbourne. And yeah. If you're coming down mm -hmm. City Road, um, pretty much uh, we're on Ferrar Street, which is Canterbury Road as well. Um, so coming down City Road... We pass up the, the tram bridge... Keep going, and we are at the left, second on the left, and you'll see the flags. We're on the corner of York Street and Ferrar Street. So, Great. well, thank you, Mandy. Yeah, thank you. I hope that's made it clear um, to everybody that yes, it's important now it's spring to definitely have your heartworm and all of your flea treatments and intestinal worm treatments up to date. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Take care.